Hello everyone and welcome back to Neopets, the Darkest Fairy! Last time we saved our sister inside of Shadow Glen Woods and have our paper signed so that we can become a squire. Today, we're taking a short little detour before we actually go back to the recruitment center to do some cleaning up of some quests that we have. First, we're actually hey. going to go see Maltara again. Now... I have a water moat now, but I'm still missing a lava moat to complete my 12 moats that she's looking for. It is going to be a, a little bit of time before we actually do find a place where we can get a lava moat, so I'm just going to go and bite the bullet and buy one now. It does have a face somewhere on it that is, it, it, it's like a spooky Halloween-y sort of one. But with all 12 of them, now we can go back and talk to her, even though she might have just seen us buy one of the moats that we needed. And she goes, well done, you bought every single moat that you needed. Uh -huh. Her reward is twofold. One, mm -hmm. she gives us a Nova moat, but it's actually not just one Nova moat. It's actually five. She gives us a total of 500 um, Nova moat power from my 300 up to 800. Plus, you can go ahead and buy Nova Motes from her whenever you want now. Which can be helpful. I'll just leave her a gape. She... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, if you try buying the Wizard's Gown or anything that seems a little bit off for what Tor should be actually buying, he won't buy it. So at least you're not going to be going around wasting all of your Neo Points. Back in Meridel, we have two stops to make. <laughs> Tor seems super happy about them. Gammon doesn't seem so happy. It's like, oh, you got, you got him. Thanks. But yeah, we had to go see Gammon to give our vials of venom right over to him so that he can go ahead and make spider juice elixirs <laughs> just like what Angus does. His reward is a 500 Neo points and also a spider juice elixir for free. It grants temporary immunity to poisons. I have never used this item ever. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. At least it's there filling up a space that we didn't know where it was there for, anyways. Then back at Angus, who doesn't even greet us, we could just go ahead and talk to him, because we got his Arbendus flower from the woods. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you so very much. His reward is just 500 Neo Points. He doesn't give us, like, any item on top of that. He gives us enough for a free Mirka Speed Potion, however, if we really wanted to buy another one. But with all that said and done, we can go back to Stiff Door, the recruitment center, where everything is as it was when we left. Park is still butthurt. But now we have everything that we need so that we can talk to Kendrick and immediately become a squire. Armor and everything just kind of just glues right to our skin. Uh. Hmm. Applying to anything involves determination and persistence. Huh. Some hiring processes I've been through that have taken a month, and well, let's just say yeah. I didn't get the job. Which hurts, it does, so... At least we have some goodness in a fictional universe, I guess. But we're a squire! We're out of our rags, which means that we have some sort of an improvement on ourselves. It's all nice and good. Full body chainmail. Now, let's... I'm curious, in terms of Meridel. We have one place that actually mentioned that we should come back to them when they when we do become a squire mm -hmm. and apparently nobody yeah. really yeah apparently he is not impressed about anything that we do we're a squire we're a champion we're a wonderful gambler at the wheel of chance doesn't matter we're just trash <gasps> well I, I kind of do have some armor and you have a uh, diddly squat for me <laughs> how do you do business Inga I guess you just tell that to everybody and 
somebody else pays your taxes for you. <laughs> but then we have Rongus Rongus. Rongus here. Oh good, I can spin again. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Yeah. I can go and spin all, all day. Oh my goodness, my tail is completely broken. <laughs> Snap that tailbone. Wrongness here was actually mentioning that we could get a a deal on a sword if we could become a squire. He lies. Horribly, horribly lies. It is still 500 Neo points. What? The what is your deal? I'm gonna come back when you actually do have a deal. Screw your squire sword. I might be a squire, but my wooden sword. What makes me who I am? Hi. <laughs> you don't even know who the champion is. Okay. Because my squire disguise is working perfectly. But yes, with all of those wrapped up and otherwise, we can now go into Meridel Castle. Yeah! Only really doesn't really hmm. care a whole lot, but <laughs> Daryl here definitely knows what's going on as up to current events with me specifically. Let's on it. head on in. Welcome to Meridel Castle! This is where the majority, the rest of the video actually is going to be taking place because we have no regular quest, main quest to do. So Master Torak is here waiting for us anyways. Oh, he's one of these guys. He is really able to put his arms back really, really far. Just make his shoulders super broad. So the really the only goal that we have now is to go back over to is to go over to the barracks on the first floor of the castle, get some sleep, and wait for the next day. However, I'm gonna be completely deaf. Cause the rest of the video is actually gonna be exploring. Meridel Castle, just to get it all out of the way, because hmm. Meridel Castle is weirdly, weirdly huge, and um, you're not going to talk to me, huh, guy? Hmm. No, no, not at all. Okay. You think you think I'm in front of you, but I'm not. I'm super sneaky. This video. <laughs> Meridel Castle is super, super huge, hmm. unnecessarily so, but it just kind of adds to the atmosphere, and we're going to be looking around, finding treasures, and everything else that is pretty much going on in the castle. Including other weird stuff that's going to be going around. Not everything is able to be, um, interactable compared to everything else. Get the back of the map. Alright. But if you would l like to look at what is going to be happening in the castle while we are not there, Pretty much this is what the rest of the video is going to be. In terms of progression, that's going to happen next video, so if you'd like to conk at now, go ahead and do so, and I'll see you later. Jeez, okay. Sixy raiders are definitely, um, behavioral, I will say that. In the library, there's a whole bunch of these books, so if you would like to pause, please do so in order to pretty much read what they have to say. Unless there's an, an, any interesting book there that I'm going to be reading myself, most of them just have a lot of just flavor text, mostly. Most of the books I'm going to be seeing also is what we've seen before. And I'm going to forget, I know I'm going to forget. I don't know who the librarian is at Meridel Castle, but there's a lot of books just kind of lying around from whoever's been in here. Not something that a squire does, is work in a library. And there's this one on a pedestal? I guess because, hey, it's Meridel. 
this was an interesting one because um, apparently the story of Meridel is that um, it took the fourth castle being built on three other castles before it in order to stand up properly. It's a little vague. But I'm going to flip out at this game soon enough based on just that little blurb once we get a little bit more detail. Now there is there are going to be places that we need to go to specifically, so I'm not going to go into every single place in the castle. Just ones that are kind of just away from everything. And I'm also not going outside. That side is for later, too. The barracks is back that way, so that's our ultimate destination, but of course, the first floor has so much more to offer us in the other areas. Keep on the guy button. There we go. Hmm. Oh, there is a guy up there. I never even noticed, but he's sleeping, so we can't actually talk to him. Nice dining area in the corner. But yeah, there's just sleeping quarters, I guess, for the servants. Maridal Castle is not without its loading um, areas. Certain areas in the castle are going to be pretty much sectioned <sighs> out and have to be loaded separately. But most of it is not. It's just fully loaded all by itself. Really? How many squires are around here? Everybody I've kind of talked to has been a, like a sir or a guard or anything like that. Or in- Whoa! Jesus! Sorry, Lord, whoever your name was. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get that to happen again, are, am I? Yes, I'm- I guess I am the new boy. Most of the lords act like very stereotypical lords. Up full of themselves. Huh. Ah. Then we have the chef. Hey! Hey, get out of there. Hey! I do like that even with the like really close attention to detail with the castle here and like the kitchen, which we don't really touch at all. At least mm. not to my knowledge. Oh. That mm -hmm. the lords, the chef, a lot of the um, other people who dwell within the castle, they all have a squire, or pretty much a servant or a squire connected to them that you can also talk to. So there's a lot of duality that's going along here. They're not just like shouting random names of people that don't exist. They're actually here. Welcome to the Neopets Appreciation Station. Other than the lock places and other places on the first floor that we have not closed yet, but will do in due time, the second floor also has a bunch of places as well. <laughs> not everything is, of course, open to us immediately, but we should get to know where certain people are huh? going to be. We'll know in the hmm. near future. Also barrels. Hmm. Hmm. Work gets around quick to hmm. certain people. I'm I'm sure. Okay. Interesting place to have the second floor be a weird brewery kind of station. And right outside there is just like a... All four statues exactly the same. Huh? Hmm. Oh, the treasury! Um... Hmm. Well, I'm kind of giving myself, like, a the free tour, so I should be able to... Nope. Okay. Treasury is completely off-limits. Oh, well. So 
some side areas just above where the main doors to, I guess, the throne room is. And if we get a really good look, we kind of notice that, yeah, the king is down there. Kind of just swaying, swaying around in his chair, getting himself comfy. But yeah, he's there. Even though it's very rarely you actually go into the throne room, he's there, just chilling. Good that they even model it, him in there, because they didn't have to. Yeah, I talk to you. This area doesn't get a whole too much use, and I feel like this is pretty much just like a stage room for plays and whatnot. Like where that aria is going to happen. And some areas are just completely blocked off to us by this guard. It looks really big back there, but we can't go in because there's apparently a card game happening between all the three of them just swaying back and forth in their chairs like, I'm sitting. Yay. Maybe I should try it later when it's not jammed. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Second library. Somewhat. Hmm. Apparently the smallest books are not usable, but the, the bigger ones are. Including one based on Brightvale. With a King Hagen. And we've seen that one on Skarl. We have the Fairy Queen, who's like the blandest thing. And my... <laughs> my opinion. Yeah. But if you ever want to know who Fiora was, that that's the Fairy Queen. Listen, yeah. Hmm. Story of the Werelith King. And I... Wait, I've read that, the Ellison book. Oh, okay. Ooh, here's an interesting one. Something about Valregard? Security around the royal treasury increased dramatically. And rumored secret passage. And architects could not confirm this passage at all. What is this book? I keep getting Illison's book, and I know that that's a third book. There we go. Just had to get it on at the right angle. Even if you've never heard of Neopets before, chances are that you might have seen maybe Lieutenant Cass, the one on the right, at some point, maybe on Tumblr. And I actually noticed while reading this book, yeah, there's just a weird front-facing angle shot of Skarl just like right in there. That is just, there's one right on either side of it. It's not the most pleasing picture of the king, but I guess that's what we have to do nowadays. The other side. And the entrance to the third floor, which is kind of just nestled way in a corner here. The third floor is the most interesting one because it has treasures in it that we can actually get right now. They're actually open for the taking, too. First one's not so much interesting. It's a random item. picture that was completely cropped out. Uh, oh? Uh, uh, jeez, calm down. Oh, okay, so he's a little bit frivolous. Oh, and now that cad, huh? I haven't heard that word used in a while. Oh, are you the... Yeah, you're the... I guess you're the servant. She didn't really mention you by name. Because everything's mad on the third floor. Do you have to, like, serve both of them? Yeah, one gets to go in, like, the basement. The other one gets to stay up here. Speaking of the other lord... Ugh. 
<laughs> yep, full of themselves. So many lords and ladies. But this is the treasure that's the most interesting one because it's a treasure map. It's actually one that we're going to be using pretty quickly, I think. I think it's a Meridel Castle one that we just picked up. Not specifically in the castle itself, but just off of the castle. And more pictures of Skarl everywhere. Oh my goodness. Just, I'm going to fill all of these empty spaces and rooms with the same picture over and over. Pretty much, I think that's just the reasoning behind it. The fourth floor, unfortunately, is where we are going to come to an end in terms of our exploration. Because mm. we're at the King's Chambers. No way are we getting in there to see what kind of treasure is inside. Which is unfortunate, but if there's a treasure in there, chances are we're going to be heading up there at some point during our game. But ah, God, <laughs> they keep popping up whenever I have to load in a new floor. I'm just popping in the worst ways. Just kind of grow out of the ground. But with that, pretty the exploration of the castle is pretty much done. I do this for two reasons. One, it's me. That's what I do whenever I go through games like this. And the second reason is, am I going in the wrong direction? I feel like I am. No, nope, I'm not. The second reason is that it actually is good to have a feel of where you're going in the castle for what is <laughs> going to be coming up in the near future. But now we're in the barracks, and we actually meet the first person who has a squire name connected to them, Grayson. I don't know what uh -huh. that knight was talking about where there's like, <laughs> oh, we have so many squires around because apparently it's just the two of us. But with that, I think it's been a pretty good day. Okay. This bed is like just high enough and just weird enough in its look that I can't actually climb up on it. But I think it's finally time in all of our journeys to get a good night's sleep because tomorrow we're going to have a pretty long day of our first day of being a squire. See you next time, everyone.